Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today is going to be a quick video. I just want to talk about a problem. A problem with Big Sur. Big Sur has been a real pain in the ass ever since my computer updated to it. It has jacked up a lot of my settings and has made my flow, which I'm so fond of talking about, really crappy. Big Sur has completely jacked up my storage. Storage in that when I take a card out of the camera or if I leave it in the camera and I try to plug it in, Big Sur has made it so that it does not show up on the finder. It took me a while to find a fix for it, but I did and that's what I'm going to go over with you now. I can only give you my experiences with my iMac that has Big Sur and my Sony cameras. Sony has also jacked up my flow by doing something strange when you format a card. Obviously, you get a new SD card, you put it into the camera and you format it so that it works with the camera and it's recognized by the camera and everything's hunky-dory. And then you either pull it out of the camera every time you need to take your footage or your, your pictures off, you put it in the computer, it comes up and whatever it is that you use takes the pictures or the footage off of the card and it stores it on your drive. And then you can go in and edit or do whatever it is that you want to do. Problem with Sony is that anytime you format this, it formats everything. So I name everything. You saw how I name all my hard drives. Well, I also name all my cards because I only use a specific or specific cards for each camera. So I would name this, let's say ZV-1. If I put this into the ZV-1 and I format it, okay, it erases everything. It erases the fact that I've called it ZV-1. It's like a brand new card. So now with the Big Sur update, when I put this card into the reader, it doesn't show up on the finder. What I ended up finding was that it's not that the computer doesn't recognize the card, it's that the finder doesn't show that the computer has recognized the card and you can't do anything with it. What you have to do is you have to open up the disk utility, go in, do some things, blah, 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 and then it will show back up on the finder and you can go through. But if you pull that back out of your reader and you put it back in the camera and you format it again, you have to go through all this again. I'm one of those people that pulls out after every photo session, after every time I film something, I take the footage off, I put it on my drives, and then I format it and I or I put it back in the camera and I format. Again, every single device, whether it's the Ninja, any one of these cameras, anything, thumb drive, it, that's the way it goes. So it's a pain in the ass for me that Big Sur has conveniently updated out that flow. Okay, enough of that. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna show you exactly what to do if this is happening to you and how to fix it. Yes, it's a pain in the ass. Yes, it's a workaround, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So. Here's what happens. Okay, at this point now, what I've done is on this side, I have my finder, and on this side, I've opened up the disk utility so that you can see what's happening. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a formatted SD card into my reader. Okay, so what you see here is that on this side, on the disk utility, it shows up and it just says generic SD card. You'll note over here on the finder that it does not register. It doesn't show it. So what you have to do is you have to come back into the disk utility. You click on the drive down here. You right click, you hit rename, and now you see it opens up a box up here so you can give it a name. And then you just give it a name, whatever you want. Hit enter, and now it shows up as ZV1. That's the card. Now that still doesn't make it show up over here. What you have to do now is eject the card, pull it out of the reader, and then take it and put it back into the reader. And now you'll see, boom. Now it shows up in disk utility as ZV1, but it also shows up on the finder. And now you can go through and take your footage off and do whatever it is you need to do. As soon as you take that out though, and you format it, you're gonna have to go through all those steps again. And that's the fix, that's the workaround, that's what you're going to have to do every single time, unless you're not like me and you don't format your card every time. But I kind of like to have it fresh. I don't, you know, I don't want anything built up on it and all that stuff. And I don't save pictures and footage on cards. They go away right away. Okay, so that's it. That's 
it's a relatively simple fix, but it took me a long time to find that. And I found somebody's video by Googling and going through dozens and dozens of pages and dozens and dozens of old articles and all that kind of stuff to figure out what was going on before I finally found this out. And now that I know, I want to share that with you. So in case you come across that problem, you can get it fixed. Now, the other thing that we need to do if you're a Sony shooter and or you use a Mac is that we need to hammer Apple to fix it in Big Sur and we need to hammer Sony and tell them to stop doing that so that when you format the card, it erases all the information and you got to go in and put all that shit back in because that's absolutely stupid and annoying. So, yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, so that's all I wanted to go over today. Just wanted to show you how to do that. Hopefully it'll help you all out. If you have a different way of doing it or you know how to fix that, because, you know, there's more than one way to, to fix a problem, you might find something that's easier that I, you know, I don't know. And I won't have to go through and do this step every single time. Let's hope. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.